name and address for the record and tell us what your question is or what your concerns are. There will potentially be uh, questions and answers among the board members again concerning what's being presented. Once we feel like we have heard from both sides, then we will attempt to render a decision here today, which is what normally occurs. However, if the board in its decision feels like uh, people need to talk, information may be lacking or something, we do have the option to postpone action until the next regular schedule meet. If there are multiple people or multiple presentations, please give us what you want us to take under consideration fully and concisely so that we don't end up with a rebuttal and a re-rebuttal back and forth. We want to try to knock it out as best we can the first time around. Okay, first case we'll call is Lowndes County Case VAR 2018-15, Sylvia Shaw and Dolores Oliver at 3768 Crumb Road, Valdosta. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, everybody. This here is came into our office through the middle of a subdivision plant. Uh, I have the property owners here, Ms. Sylvia and Dolores Shaw. They um, contacted Ms. Barbara here in Brooks Southeast and surveying in regards to splitting this large tract of land evenly into two trucks. Um, they came up with the design to create two 68 plus acres track, uh, track one on the north, track two on the south. The ladies, um, are submitting this plat via the family ties option and the family ties option will give our citizens two options as it pertains to access we can't um, meet the criteria of option one which requires that each lot has an uh, individual 60 feet minimum of road credit so we have opted for option two which will allow us to do a shared drive of 60 feet wide as long as that drive commits from a county maintained road. And in this case, our county maintained road will be Madison Highway. Uh, according to um, the language that I have from the ladies, um, this 30-foot strip easement strip has been in place for 45 years. The city had just confirmed for me that their dad actually um, implemented that access. Um, so, that's why we're here. The, the variance in itself says that each lot needs to have 60 foot on a county maintained road. Track one, this is, let me look at my map. Uh, in fact, I'll wait to 
we'll give it to you. Okay, good job. No, no. Is there any other questions or discussions from the board at this point? I've got one more. Okay. I drive up to where the road dead ends okay. at track two and track one, where you could take a right and go down hey, to yes, track yes, one. Yes, but I didn't know how far it went. Um, there was some dogs barking. I didn't mm -hmm. want to cause right. too much of a disturbance. How far did they have to, to maintain that road? Well, I would rather this Barbara assist us with that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Any other questions or any other discussions at this time? Thank you. We may need yes. you again in a minute. Yes, yes. Is there anyone here, would either one of you like to speak? Or Barbara, I've got a question. Maybe Nancy's got a question. Uh, Robert Herring, Southeast Oklahoma, we have a 601 voice conference. As you said, that's been with my first course. I'm the number of the school in my and this was, of course, air property. And after many years of in family bickering and fighting, but finally got auctioned off with no one could agree on anything. And the two sisters put together and bought the property back. So, as she said, there's only 30 feet there, and there was only 30 feet there at the end of it. It's been there forever. They do maintain interest into their own property, they own their own homes, they have no plans on building. They out the farmers, so it's going to stay farm. Okay. My question is going to be, is there anything recorded that specifies that track one and track two both have access through this? In case we have more family dispute down the road for some reason? When this plant is recorded, it shows it on the plant. That is a 30 foot access easement that goes into cut tracks. Okay, that's 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 the question. I just wanted it on the record that it's planted and marked and that way one came. Yes, <coughs> it was already there to begin with. And the way this is designed, the track number two has the actual road frontage and the easement, the track number one has the easement already existing on it that goes on maintenance house. This is the whole one acre. Okay. Nancy, did that help with your question, or you still got a question? No. Thank you. Any other questions, discussions? Is there anything else you would like to bring to us, Barbara? Anything y'all would like to bring to us? I got a question. Uh, Ma'am, hold on just a second. Or are we done? Okay. All right. Is there anyone else here in support of this application? Okay. All right. I got a question. Yes, ma'am. Please come to the lectern. I need your name and address for the record. I'm Janice White, uh, 2680 Touchstone Road, but I own a shop right next to these people. Okay. And your and question I, is? If they get a variance, does that mean they get part of my property? No, ma'am. So they're just going to get the 30, the road that's already there, right? The, the existing 30-foot road that goes in is theirs now. Yeah. The county says they're supposed to have 60 feet. The variance that they are asking for is that that variance be reduced from 60 to 30, which is the existing for one of the lots, lot number two, and that the variance be for lot number one, that it is allowed to use that same 30 foot and not have an additional 30 foot for it. There will be no property, nobody's taking any property for anybody or anything like that. That's why I want to know. Did that answer your question? Yes, sir. It does. Is there anyone else here that has questions or is in opposition or have a problem with what is being requested? Was there any response to your office? Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, is there any other questions or discussions? Does anybody need additional information? Can 
I entertain a motion on this request. Make a motion to approve the variance as presented, citing uh, criteria D. I have a motion on the floor to grant the request as presented, citing criteria D. Do I have a second? I have a second, Ms. Portland. All in favor, please raise a hand. Any opposed? Unanimous. Good luck with it, ladies. Hope everything works out. Okay, the next case we'll call is Lowndes County Case DAR 2018-16. Tanika Christopher on behalf of Shelby Stovall and 6002 North Oak Street Extension. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I would like to acknowledge all of the parties that are involved with this project. So I do have Ms. Um, Tanika Christopher. She's the acting realtor on behalf of the landowner. I have Mr. Matthew Inman with BMC Engineering. He is the land professional for the possible buyer of this property should this variance um, go through. And uh, that young lady's name is Miss Carrie Grishan, Grishan, and she's with Grimlock. Right. They are here. Um, should the board have any questions outside of what I hope to present to you? This property is located <coughs> at 6002 North Oak Street Extension. Uh, what we have here is, uh, and I believe that a rezoning case was held on this property, and I believe that it was in 2015. Sir, as you give me, I, I should tell that. I, okay, it is, in, uh, a rezoning took place in 2015. Uh, they did grant the rezoning request, but they put two conditions on the property change. And one of the conditions <coughs> pertained to buffering, and the other pertained to a specific use. The, the, the second condition said that there could be no family, um, personal care homes, group personal care homes, or congregate. Uh, what they are asking to do should, uh, what Ms. Uh, Grecian's company would like to do, they would like to establish a 72 bed assisted living facility on site. Um, they are going, uh, they are going before the Lyons County Board of Commissioners this afternoon to ask that, that uh, request if, uh, prohibiting this use we're going before the commissioners this afternoon to ask if that condition could be removed out of the property. Um, outside of that, this is um, a commercially zoned property that is uh, surrounded by commercially zoned property on the on the east side. I have Trinity Presbyterian Church, which is on the CC. On the west side, there's the Northwind Office Complex slash apartments. Um, on the north. We have the apartments of the North Wind Office Complex and then also a portion of New Covenant Christian Church, um, which surrounds this property. That's basically what I have in a nutshell. Um, the variance, we're, we're, we're here to, well, I'm sorry, the actual variance on this property is to set that. I got too involved in the other. But the actual variance on this case is for setbacks. The design standards require a 100 foot side yard and rear yard setback. They can meet the rear yard requirement with no issue. It is the side yard um, that they tend to have a problem. And they're asking to reduce that side yard um, from 100 to 50 feet for both sides. Um, CRC staff, um, they looked it over. None of my um, department has any, had any issues uh, with them doing so. Um, and this is what we present to you today. Ladies and gentlemen, any questions? I can have a whole bunch of questions. Okay. Do um, you know why the commission made the no? I went back and looked at the video from that, and um, the commission voted unanimously to put that commission on. Do we know why they didn't want a personal care home here? No, ma'am. I've been hearing uh, of the commissioner that made the condition. 
why the conditions face other partly and I think we can get some insight on that in a few minutes. Okay. Um, and then according to this um, site plan that we have here, it looks like there's a driveway that goes right along the, the eastern border with a dumpster pad at the back. Is that in this? What would be the setback? Is a line? What, what are you asking? This, this driveway is would be in within the setback. It looks like it would be. Um, Matthew, can you help me with that? Yes. Please? Do I that? Yes. Can I get your name and address again for the record?
Is there any plan to fence the site in any way, um, given that it is a, a assisted, uh, uh, assisted care home uh, home for yeah, caring patients? Not fence the entire site would not be the plan. There's a couple of court guards on the Correct. side. Of that would be the one that would be, if there were, you know, outside um, on the bottom side of the page. That courtyard would be in there. They would, they would possibly be fenced. Not the the courtyard would be fenced. Okay. I have a question for Deborah. What's the buffering in this zoning? Any other questions? Any other discussion? Is there anyone here in support that would like to speak? No, Mr. Matthew pretty much summed it up for us. Okay. Yes. I, they did do some, some of the of, of, of similar projects. 
and we'll do the best we can. And that's what North Point is. This is a, one of the other projects they've had, one of the other elevations they've had, a similar type facility, and what it will look like. Okay. Uh,
for the facility as you see it now. There is this for Brandon. Fast forward 12 years later, they are ready to do some additional updating in terms of removing the existing sanctuary and building a new sanctuary. We look at the minutes from February 2006, the very recent that you granted. Those appear to be specifically for the existing facility, not including any new structures. No new, no proposed plan was, a, was looked at showing any other facilities, any other potential concept plans, or any other additions. So the very recent of 2006 are purely for the, the side as you see it now. So that's why they're in front of you now for a front yard variance on Wharton Street. The property is on R6. The front yard setbacks for R6 were treated as the front yard. Front yard is 20 feet. Front yard setback is 20 feet. They are proposing to approach into that setback 11 feet to be flush with the existing building that's, that's going to be left. The new facility, the new sanctuary will be flush with that existing, what's left, existing. So they are asking for a variance of 11 feet, so it would be 9 feet from the new sanctuary to Morton Street, that property line. We have a new request, we recommend approval. Just a side note, the expansion also needed what we call a conditional use permit or CDP. It did go from planning commission to city council. The city council did approve it last year with the conditions. Condition, yes, sir. They approved it unanimously for three conditions. The first being that the approval shall be granted for a church facility with, with, with related accessory uses in R630 with a maximum total building floor area not to exceed 20,000 square feet. Reductions in the minimum building setback requirement shall be as approved by zoning board of appeals. The new parking lot shall meet the same landscaping lighting requirements of the LPR and other non residential parking lots. All site lighting shall be directed away from surrounding residential properties. And the third and last condition was that the CPP would, would expire after five years from the date of approval if no building permit has been issued for any new building or existing building expansion by that date. Just so you know, they did submit plans. Plans are in the process of paper. Okay. Any, yeah. any other questions? Any other discussions? Well, basically, they're they're going to put <coughs> the new construction in alignment with the old building that they are maintaining. <coughs> so it's not going to be any closer, no further. It's all going to be lined up. Yes, sir. Is anyone here in support of this application? My name is Jimmy Cohn. I'm an architect working on this project. My office is located at 1806 Plum Street. Uh, there are some of the members of the church here and the general contractor, Roger Meeks, is here also. Uh, as uh, they said uh, back in 2006, they did come to get a front door set back. And it was our intentions back then that they knew one day they were going to build a sanctuary. And we designed that building, which was a, basically a Sunday school building, that it would one day be part of a sanctuary building. That the roof line of that building was designed so that it would extend and create a uh, gable roof. By that, has a shed roof look to it. And that was, like I say, that was designed. It's always been our intention that we would align with the front of that building with this future sanctuary. So I'll be glad to answer any questions that y'all have. Anybody have any questions? Okay. Thank you. And I'm assuming that all the church members and <coughs> are in support of all this. <laughs> Is there anyone here in opposition or does anyone have a question about what is being requested? Is anything brought to the office, phone, walk-ins? We've had no contact. Any other questions, any other discussions from the board at this time? And 
I entertain any motion on this request. I make a motion that we approve the variance as presenting finding it consistent with the variance review criteria and the micro. Uh, motion, yeah, I, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a motion on the floor from Ms. Porter. Do I have a second? I have a second. Uh, all in favor, please raise a hand. You unanimous. Good luck. I'll make it look good for you. Okay. Uh, minutes. I didn't see anything. Additions, deletions, corrections, substitutions. Or anybody else have anything that I might have missed? And I get a motion to accept the minutes. Make a motion we accept the minutes. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. All in favor, raise your hand. Unanimous. Good luck. I'm going to abstain on that. One year. Okay. Have you got that? Uh-huh. Okay. Any other new business we need to discuss? One thing that comes to mind, Mr. Chairman, is um, we want to start thinking in terms of chair, vice chair, that discussion that makes on speaking or do we want to wait until November? We have one case. We have one case as well. So we can start conversation October. We can start it next month, but please put it on the agenda so that my old gray hairs don't forget it. Uh, any other old business or anything we need to discuss? Congratulations, Gretchen, on your new edition. Oh, thank you. For those of you that haven't seen it, you need to look at the picture. I got a new grandbaby. Congrats. Okay, if we have nothing else at this point, we stand adjourned. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention and your assistance. Okay. We like that quick. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Yeah.